This is the 1950s. After World War II, the American lifestyle returned to what it used to be. Kids are now no longer afraid of getting bombed by German planes. They are now happily back on the streets playing games with their friends. Just look at how much fun they are having soaking up all that vitamin D. Now, as we fast forward half a century to present day, teenagers are no longer spending time outside on a regular basis. Instead, they are inside, on their couches, in their beds, watching TV, or on their phone, or playing video games. How could the lifestyle of the next generation of Americans be so different compared to how it was 50 years ago? When we ask students around the school how much time a day they spend watching TV, or on their phone, or staring at a screen in general, they answered with... Uh, seven hours. Uh, probably like three or four hours. Four hours? Um... Out of 24 hours? Like, yeah. Probably about four hours. This graph shows how much time teens are spending on electronics. Of the 45 students that we asked, 5 of them said they spent less than 1 hour a day, 13 said 1 to 2 hours, 18 said 3 to 5 hours, and 9 said over 5 hours. It's time to do some simple math. We all know there are 24 hours in a day. During the weekdays, we spend about 8 hours of that day at school. Let's just say we spend 2 hours eating our meals. Let's also just say, a combination of sports and work and after school activities accumulate to another 2 hours. If you're spending 5 hours a day on an electronic device, that only leaves 7 hours for sleep and homework. So we asked people around the school if their electronic usage affects their sleep and homework schedule. Here is how they responded. And does your electronic use affect how late you go to bed? Yeah. Um, do you think it affects your schoolwork? Not really. Do you think using electronic devices affects how late you go to bed each night? Uh, yes. Do you use your phone in class? And if so, what do you do? Uh, usually in class, I just usually like go on Reddit or play games. And do you, do you, uh, is your schoolwork affected by your use of electronic devices, do you think? Yeah. And does it just affect what time you start your homework each night? Yes. So what is everyone doing that is so much more important than sleep and homework? Twitter and kind of Facebook. Uh, do you have a Netflix? Yeah. Uh, how much time do you spend on that a week? Too much. Um, do you use social media other than Twitter? Uh, Instagram, Snapchat. Alright, what's your electronic device do you use the most? Probably, probably my computer. And uh, do you go on Netflix at all? All the time. How long do you spend on Netflix per week? Okay, I'm gonna change my first answer from like four hours to maybe six hours. And a week, I probably watch Netflix um, about 10 hours a week. Even the previous generation is being affected by modern day technology. And then when I get home, let's see, so I'm driving, it's like 35 minutes, 30 minute drive home, so I'm not on the internet then, even though my phone is synced into the car. Then when I get home, I do a little bit of chores, and then finally after dinner I can sit down and relax, and I'll get into my phone and do stuff on my phone. You know, check my email from home email, check school email, do some Facebook, and I probably spend two hours doing that. The biggest concern with teens these days is them not getting enough sleep. Many studies have shown that kids who don't get enough sleep every night are falling behind in classes and having a hard time focusing. This is a good study that shows the relationship of uh, actually not sleeping enough to mental health, especially in adolescents. Countless earlier studies have shown that adolescents don't get enough sleep. And the lack of sleep impacts everything from school performance to driving and even weight control. The average 12th grader is getting something on the order of less than seven hours of sleep a night, when actually they need more like nine. This latest study is powerful evidence that a lack of sleep in teenagers affects not just physical, but mental health as well, right? Tough order at home sometimes. Bob Bazell, thank you for that. 
This is the 1950s, and this is present day. What we need is something in between. Going to extreme measures isn't the key to solving the issue. All the evidence points to how electronics are consuming the lives of many teenagers. People need to practice moderation. Not too much, and not too little. Just keep that in mind.